What's up, what's up, family? What's going on? Welcome, welcome to Positive Power, Double XI Christian Media. And you're listening to Late Night. Late Night with Jervis Live Worldwide and AKA the Batman of Charm City and co host Shay Sams. Shay is joining me tonight. Special guest, Dale Loren, is going to be here talking about her brand new single and her upcoming projects. We're excited to have her in studio. And please excuse us, y'all, on Facebook Live. We're still waiting for our licensing. <laughs> but it's all good. Going out to Spreaker Radio, just type in Jervis Live. You'll find a live podcast. We'll drop the link there for you. So if you want to hear a nice, clear, crispy broadcast, going out to Spreaker Live, international podcast, y'all. That's where it's happening. And catch the show later on on Spotify, All Heart and iTunes. Just look for the Purple Podcast app and type in Jervis Live. 5,000 episodes, y'all, right here on Spreaker Radio. All right. Let's talk to Shay Sams, see what she got going on. Shay Sams, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, Jerry Royce Live, a.k.a. The Batman. Happy Monday. Yeah, Robot, give her give her some clap. <laughs> Robot, give you some clap. Happy Monday. <laughs> I know Batman got jokes today. Yeah, I was gonna say you you can't do that with me because you know how my phone lines are. So I'm like, uh oh, he can't hear me. Yeah, I hear you. (laughs) Trying to do better with that. (laughs) Yeah, I had to apologize to our listeners. I know they're used to coming out on Facebook Live checking us out. I I know it be sounding crazy with the music. I just finished monitoring it. Yeah, Batman got some new toys. And look, Paula G was trying to (laughs) interrupt me while I was (laughs) playing with my new computer. And she was like, where are you? What, what you did. doing? Why, why you guys, well, you weren't here uh, Friday night. And I guess I was kind of too quiet for her. <laughs> she wouldn't know what was going oh, on. Oh, okay. Gonna, probably was checking to see if I was laid out on the floor or something. <laughs> <laughs> we got to be, yeah, we do need to check up on you. <laughs> yeah, you know how Especially she. Especially when we can't see you. Yeah. We definitely need to make sure we check up on you. Yeah, she was looking. She probably was looking and said, where is he? Where is he? And I wasn't on camera. I don't know. Was it coffee? Were you, were you getting coffee? Yeah, no, no. Um, I was just playing around with my my my, my new computer so I could watch TV and everything on it. Uh, <laughs> I was watching Netflix. You and these gadgets. You you were you like this when you were younger? Just gadget gadget central. Oh yeah, I used to fix my father's black and white TVs when he couldn't get the the fight. <laughs> he used to call me little Jerry. Fix the TV. You know, he had no remote. You know, back in the 60s, he had no remotes. Remember? The baby was the remote. We talked about those TVs before. We're not going to go into a 20-minute conversation about TVs again. Yeah, that's right. Well, anyway, I got some new some new, new equipment in the studio. So, um, you know, we got, the, we got a brand new show that's going to be airing real soon. As soon as we get MVTV 21 Music Vision Television is going to be up. I know a lot of the artists are excited about it. They got new videos out. We got a lot of content. You know, we got Lakeisha out there, you know, on location. She's going to be in studio real soon. We're waiting for summer to come back. Sky is here. So we got to run our own television network. So that's going to be up real soon. We're excited about that. And um, so we had to update, you know, a lot of our equipment so we'd be able to do things a lot faster. And the new show, there's two new shows coming to Positive Power. We got this traveling show, which I don't know the name of it yet. That's going to be over in the eastern uh, part of Maryland where they're going to be, um, you know, checking out some spots, you know, different parts of Maryland, letting people know what it's like and everything. You know, you want to travel to the beach and everything, some other things to do. And then also we got a show called The Red Room where we actually going to be t- transparent um, right here. So uh, Dr. Dr. T- uh, Jenkins is going to be um, spearheading that program with his coaches. So they're going to be coming all the way from Arkansas to do this show. Isn't that incredible? So they be uh, taping going to be August second. Um, yeah, yep. So we're excited about that. And it may be a little sooner too because I think he got a crew coming through. I believe he got something else happening. I thought he said June. I got to check my dates. He's always here. So um, I'm excited about that. Yeah, they'd be right here in the back cave, right here, the red room. You know, um, Shalonda's uh, son um, named the studio the Red Room. 
<laughs> yeah, when you said the Red Room, I thought, okay, so now we have we've we've officially inherited the name the Red Room. Yep, it's the Red Room now. So um, yeah, the, the Bat Cave, the Red Room in the Bat Cave. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yeah, that's right. Hey, look at Shalanda. She up there now. She's been here. Yeah, we're gonna be transparent. So we we excited about that. You know, you know, a lot of those coaches, you know, they're they're very, you know, intelligent people. Um, like a lot of us, you know, we had our challenges, our issues, and um the journey. You know, a lot of us is mm-hmm. in a in a good place right now. So we're able to talk about yeah. it, able to testify. So that's what we're looking for that program to do. So um yeah, we hope Dr. Jenkins be, you know, excited about that one, you know. But she already been promoting it. <laughs> So that's a good thing. So <laughs> Well, I can't wait. I know that there's a lot. Um, I know that you said Paula G is going to be coming to um, Baltimore in July. Yeah. So that's going to be amazing. That's right, uh, July. June, actually. I know it's June, right? No, actually, I think, it's, it I think it's July. I think it's July 26th and 27th. I'm sure that's the date she told me. Okay. I, don't, I don't have my phone. I, I don't know why I didn't I bring it over I here. I think it's in July. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't bring my phone over here. <laughs> I left my phone on the cradle. I was actually using it to broadcast, but uh, it it it, it needed it need to be backed up for some. I, I don't know. But anyway, um, I don't know how you do it. I know I need that phone. <laughs> it wanted to be backed up right, right right when I needed it. So right now I'm relying on, you know, Facebook's been trying some new things. You know, they're trying to get people from using other people's apps. So of course uh, they got to try to give you an opportunity to go live on your PC, which it has a little, mm-hmm. some issues going on. I probably just don't have some of the settings that right, but that's what it is. <laughs> I think people hear me. Paula G said the 26th and 27th, she be back on her set. Of, yeah. of July, right? Yeah. So don't be getting me confused, okay. Shay Sams. I got a lot yeah, of dates. I'm, I'm going to be in Philly in June. And so for some reason, I was thinking that I was going to miss my journey again because I'm going to be there on the 29th. I have an event here on the 28th. No. I don't know. My dates are mixed up, too. Well, you said you was coming here. <laughs> you said you was coming up to uh, Owens Mills to hang out with the Batman. When are you going to do it? I know. Yeah, it's been a minute. Actually, I was going to be there. I'm going to be there um, at the at the end of Ju- at the end of June. So if that's the case, then I'll come back again in July for the my journey. Yeah, so I forgot. Somebody just hit me up. I, I supposed to be doing something in June. I can't remember what it is. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. It's just so much. And that's know. always a good problem to have, to just be look, busy. Yeah, I got to look at my text. <laughs> but people said, somebody said, um, okay, I'll be there in June. What you got going on? <laughs> Nothing. But now I don't remember who it was, <laughs> who the person was asking me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, check our calendars. Go to the website. <laughs> yeah, but the most important thing <laughs> is Paula G right now. That's the most important thing is getting Paula back here. And, um, of yeah, course, we're going to be I'm in Marietta. What's that? Marietta, Georgia. We'll be back at Marietta, the Black Box. Georgia. The Black Box. I know the Black Box. Good, The good acting studio. Yeah, uh-huh. Paula listening to me. She's been, she been screening my shows because she said, I'll be, I'll be calling people companies wrong. <laughs> I'm getting Well, straight. you know. When we were there, Mario actually, I think it was um, Lakeisha, she was doing her first interview. We had to redo the whole the whole interview because she was saying the black box. Because that's what we were calling it, the black yeah. box. So Mario politely came back and he said, um, he said, can you do that over? And he said, because it's the good acting studio. <laughs> the good acting studio. <laughs> he said it's the good acting studio. And right. so I guess we just got so familiar we're calling it the black box. Yeah, but I it's know. the black box. He it's probably, a good acting studio. He probably Shout be, out to Mario. He probably be booked. He probably be booked solid if he called it a black box. <laughs> People like that name. <laughs> you know, everything it's based a really on that. nice studio, though. I think I, I really enjoyed it there. Just um, great hospitality. Mm. Um, you know, he just so again, shout out to Mario. He was very um, hospitable oh, yeah. and just, I mean, I'm still thinking back on that day and just how much fun we actually had. Um, how professional he was to just um, you know, he just he just really did his thing and it just it makes you want to do more business with him, yeah. to be honest with you. Yeah, it was exciting. We had a great time. So we actually gonna do the talk show there at the Good Acting Studio in the Black Box Theater. Um actually gonna be like a, we're gonna make that the set for the talk show. 
I love it. That's right. I love um, it. I think it'll be good. Yeah. So uh, we're going to start um, airing some 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 commercials and getting the website set up so people can start booking. Because the most exciting thing now is WATC is doing super duper well right now with um, opening up all three of their channels. They're promoting everything on even playing ground. I saw so that. yeah. So then we're on Janico Faith TV, which we air live. That's an international uh, broadcast. Which is huge. Shout I never, out to Paula I know. I never saw that one coming. Yeah, never saw that one coming. And so what that means is for those of you that have very nice professional videos, we are accepting videos, music videos. So hit Paula G up. She will tell you what the uh, criteria are, you know, um, what it's going to cost you. But the good thing is you're going to get super duper international exposure. So one of the things I had a great conversation today with uh, with uh, Norris Williams today. And um, of course, you know, if anybody that's that's at the level where he is, I mean, the guy was very impressive. And, um, you mm-hmm. know, after a while, you have to start to say to yourself, how long are you going to, you know, c- continue to call it a ministry where now you're at a level where you should be on the big stages like, you know, your Kirk Franklin's and your Yolanda Adam. It's more room for for people, mm-hmm. you know, at that level. And this guy, I was really impressed with him. I mean, you can see stardom in, in certain people, you know, like, of course, you got mm-hmm. your Michael Lee out there and your Clarita Haddon Jackson, your Taylene Harris. Very good performers. Even Amanda Lennon's. You got your Shay Samuels. Yeah, Shay Samuels. I haven't seen you perform live yet, <laughs> but one time. <laughs> but I don't remember. I yeah, just that one time. And, um, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like Amanda Lynn, I mean, you, I know you guys that tr- follow Troy Edwards, 3HP, they right here in Baltimore. Oh, man, this, this, this lady is doing her thing. She's working with, um, some big heavyweights like Fred Hammonds and, the, and Fred Jerkin and Rodney Jerkin. I mean, when you start getting at that level, y'all, I mean, just think, y'all, you guys are a social media with these people, but watch what they doing. You know, why are they at that level? You know, sometimes it's, it's, it's your management, it's your promoters. They can open those doors for you. You know, you guys heard Apostle Vera Howard. She was right here in my studio. And she told us she opened those doors up for T.D. Jakes and, and Tyler Pry stage play productions. Sometimes it, it takes someone else with the keys to open up. I mean, you got the talent, you know. But sometimes it takes a little more than just the talent to get through those doors. And I mean, she, I mean, she was testifying on this program that sometimes it's who you're working with. So, you know, sometimes if you're dealing yeah. with some nickel and diamond promoters is just booking you at little storefront churches. If that's what you want, it's OK. It's OK. But for those of you who know that, you know, you're waiting for the next level and you have it, you know, don't be afraid to step out there and do your thing. Call them people up, man. <laughs> they'd be glad to wait looking for more talent believe me they they call me all the time so with all that said speaking of s- dynamic talent now am i saying her name correctly is it is, is daya loren is that right daya loren that is Bat- that is right batman got it right i was practicing too batman got it right he yeah. liked daya because he don't get nobody's name right so daya you are in his top maybe Twenty favorites at this point. But I was impressed with her, though. You know that that night she came on to help celebrate your birthday. I mean, she didn't know us from Adam. It's not like we had a relationship with her. You know, we just right. your mom just told me that, that she was your favorite artist, and then I reached out to her, and then she said yes. That's big. You know, that's that's favorite. <laughs> you know, I'll never yes, forget that. I love her, and yeah. I'm excited to be interviewing her tonight. Yeah. So now it's time for you to talk to her. I just want to say hello, hello, Miss Loren. How you doing? Greetings. I'm good. I'm excited to be here with you guys. Yes. Good evening. Yes. And I just want to say I love your promo. And I can't wait to see Thank a you. music video if there's one on its way or one's been produced. You know. Oh, I have I have three videos. Well, two that are out. One more that's coming. Good. Um, all for my new album. And my new album actually just dropped um, April 26th. All right. Well, that's what you're here today to talk about. You got you got 45 minutes to talk about it. And uh, with Shay, that's right. This show goes to 11 o'clock. So uh, just take your time, have a good time with her. And uh, and we'll be in contact with you because I, like I was telling people earlier, we're working on our, our own television station, which would be uh, 
up up real real soon i mean we're doing some big things right now but it's, it's nothing like having your own you know we got so much content all right so batman is on mute have a great show ladies amen Thank you. Amen. Well, welcome, 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 everyone. That's right. It's your Monday night show, Late Night with Jerry Royce, and I am your co-host, Shay Samuels. Happy belated Mother's Day to all the mothers. I was not on Friday night on the Christian party line, but shout out to Shalanda Williams for holding it down, my sister, and Lakeisha, Chanel, Patrice, and of course, Paula D, Lady Wisdom After Midnight. I'm excited tonight because I get a chance to interview a lot of my brothers and sisters on the late night with Jerry Royce. But tonight I have a special, 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 special guest. I'm excited about all the things that God is doing in her life. You guys have been um, seeing my videos uh, while I'm driving down the road, playing her music. Um, one of my favorite artists, I have an opportunity to introduce her to those who may not know her tonight. And for those who do know her and are listening, thank you so much for joining us. So without further ado, Miss Daya Loren, how are you? I'm good, Shay. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. I'm excited that we're going to talk about this album tonight. Woo! <laughs> we are going to talk about this album tonight, and I'm actually going to give the listeners and the viewers my three favorite songs on the full album. Um, okay. But we are going to talk about them because each one, each song offers something different. Um, I could just tell where your heart was when you were doing the songs and, um, you know, shout out to your album release party. I had a chance to be a part of that. And we're just going to talk about it. You have so much going on. So 45 minutes goes by fast when you got a lot going on. <laughs> so, so let's start with telling everyone who Dale Loren is. Well, okay, so that's a loaded question because <laughs> um, let me back up. My, my That's my stage name, but um, so I have a sister-in-law who has my exact same name. She married a man, well, my husband's brother, and her name is uh, the same as mine. So I was like, huh, I need a stage name. And so um, I actually have five kids, and uh, my oldest is 18, and my youngest is two. And before I got married, I was thinking I want to have four kids. That was my goal. That was a strange goal for most people who only want like one or two. But um, and I wanted to have one of the girls I had um, be named Daya Loren. Well, by the time I got around to having a stage name, I already had three boys, and I figured I wasn't gonna have a girl. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, I'll take the name. And then uh-huh. lo and behold, I had I had one more boy, and then I had a girl. Yes, <laughs> so I had yes, to pick yes. my new name. <laughs> And it was amazing because you actually had your daughter, and I want to tell everyone how we met too, but you had your daughter mm-hmm. uh, probably days before um, my single release <laughs> concert. Yep. And it was a blessing to um, for you and your family to come out. It was a blessing. Um, so thank you so much for being a part of that. Um, you want to tell everyone how we actually, do you remember how we met? Well, I, you know, I was thinking about that in the car today. Um, God is so good because he just puts people, you know, in your life. And I don't even know how you got my information. I really don't. I don't, I don't know what happened, but you contacted me to come sing at your album release. And I was like, hey, you know, okay, sure. Yes, and I didn't yes. know you from Adam. <laughs> you didn't know me from so, Adam. <laughs> right. Well, we actually, so here's the thing. We kind of briefly met um, at the... I want to say Holy Grounds Cafe. I came to support oh, oh, um, at the Holy that. Grounds Cafe. Yep. And I was there, and you were there with the three boys at the time. I think it was three boys and your husband. And we didn't mm-hmm. get a chance to actually meet one another uh, formally, but we did exchange information. And so when I was doing the oh. worship night, yeah, when I was doing the worship night, you were the first person that came to mind. Um you were the first person that came to mind for some reason, but I knew, I knew why once you were there, but it was just amazing. Like you said, God places people in our path and we don't really have, we don't really have, we didn't really have to physically know one another to embrace one another. And so here we are today, your daughter's too. That was about two years 
two years ago now, I think, maybe three. Your daughter's two? She's about she's about to be three. She'll be three I was going to say probably about three. Yeah, three, because it was in July. So three years ago, I did the um, I Choose the Worship single concert in July of 2000. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, 16, I think it was. So, yeah, so it was amazing because here's the thing. When you do connect with people, you connect with the right people. Um, mm-hmm. Consistency is key. So we get a chance to watch one another grow. We get a chance to support one another. You know, I always say that there's no competition in the kingdom. We get a chance to embrace each other's music. And so um, so we're just going to talk about this music, this album. When you said it after the album um, released, I was, like, so amazed. But you said, I wanted a new sound. I wanted something different so talk to us about this album so um really on the the album is called word of his grace and this is actually my fourth album um i've been doing this since about 2009 and god has just blessed me to be able to to make you know uh albums and stuff like that and and not always you know necessarily having the money to do it but god providing and so on this particular album just for the last, honestly, probably for that same amount of time, God has just been dealing with me about living by the grace of God. And I know I've talked to a lot of people, and when I start talking to them to them about grace, they always usually think about the favor of God. And God has just been teaching me and showing me in His Word that it's so much more than just, you know, the favor that gets preached about and hooped about <laughs> uh, in the pulpit and stuff like that. And so um, it's really so comprehensive when Jesus Christ came to the earth and died. The Bible said that he was full of grace. He was full of truth. He came and he brought that grace for us and and so that we could have not only eternal life, but so that we could be free and that we could have everything we need, like it says in our think Ephesians, that pertains unto life and the godliness. And so it might be Philippians. But anyways, so <laughs> and so everything we need is in him. We already have it. It's already it's like a it's like a well or like a treasure chest that we have to open and we have to pull from. And so um he just again the album is about that just by living by the resources of God's grace. It is everything we need for our daily Christian life. Not only just to um have the favor of God, but to live sin free, to be delivered, to overcome to be victorious, all of that we need to be in health. Everything is already in Jesus and is available to us through his grace. And so the album is trying to kind of like span that, like talk about all the aspects of that life in grace. Amen. So that's why this the album is Dale Loren, Word of His Grace. Dale, what's your favorite song on, on your album? You asked me, I got to ask you. Okay, yes, I did ask you. <laughs> I, it switches because, like, one minute, like, when I was producing the album, the I was in love with um, Grace and Mercy. Then the next song was done, and it was like, I'm in love with Better With You. <laughs> yes. And then the next song was done, and I'm like, oh, I love, I'm so free. And now, and then I think my last most, no, that's not true. Then the, after that, it was like, oh, I'm in love with Christ Magnified with the, you know, Latin jazz and African Cuban kind of yes. rhythms and beats and stuff. And then yes. the last song that I actually really, 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 really love that probably I don't know if anybody else feels the same way, but it's the one of the latter latter songs on the album called "God Is Our Refuge." Mm-hmm. And there's a part um, at the very, very end that just makes me want to cry every time. And it's like the Lord of Hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. And when I was just mm-hmm. hearing it, it's just it just ministers to my heart. Yeah. I think the whole album is good. I, I'm 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 kind of biased though because I'm when I'm it depends. I'm like you. Depends on what I'm doing. Like I was driving down the road on Saturday. I'm so free was on replay the whole time I was driving, and then I put it up on Instagram. Grace and Mercy is my second um, favorite. Better with Better with You um, is like the uh, <laughs> you rock you rock better with you. <laughs> <laughs> you you rock better with you. And I was like, oh, my goodness. But one thing I can tell you, and most people don't know this about you, but you do all of your background, right? I do. I do. I didn't yes. know you noticed. <laughs> yes. Listen, I do my study. <laughs> I do my study. You do all your background. So most people don't know that. So it's one of those things where I'm just like things you may not know about an artist. If you listen to this album, Daya does all of her background. How did you decide that you were going to be the one to do all your background? 
Hmm. Honestly, um, it was cost. <laughs> I was like, right. um, uh-huh. if I just sing all of these parts, it'll be a lot cheaper than having to pay somebody. To sing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so, it's really, really good. And so I was like, and then also the other part of it, as far as the cost, was not just having to pay somebody, but when you're producing, and, and again, over the 10 years, God is just, and all the four albums, God is just really teaching me and taught me about how to produce an album. Because I'm the executive producer, me and my husband. And mm-hmm. I know it's harder with background singers to get everybody's voices to align, to sing stuff the exact same way. And so I was like, hey, I, I, I know how to sing like me. So <laughs> right, right. If I stack myself, it'll it'll sound good. <laughs> now that now the flip side of that is is then when you do something like your album release concert, the background vocals have to be on point. So they have to, they have to kind of mimic what you were doing. And I would say that they were very successful at it. Background vocals my, were on point. My ladies are awesome. Um, sometimes I go places to sing, and they are like the star attraction. Everybody's like, oh my gosh, they sound so good. I'm like, you know what? It's all right. Don't worry about me. <laughs> <laughs> and they had so much fun too. They had so much fun up there. And I just appreciate that because sometimes when you get background vocalists, you know, they, they are there kind of just getting paid for what they do. So they don't have an, a vested interest. Your background vocalists always have a, vest, a vested interest in you and making what you do the greatest. So that's definitely a bonus. That That's definitely a bonus. So I'm going to go to one of the songs. Um, I think we have better with you. Can you talk to everyone, but we're going to go to one of your songs, but can you talk to everyone about Better With You? And then we're going to introduce that song to the audience, the listening audience and the viewing audience. Okay. That just blessed me um, to be able to work with actual um, Grammy award-winning uh, producer, J.R., um, Courtney People, and he produced um, stuff for McCray, Erica Campbell, stuff like that. And I little me, I just reached out to him and he, he, he was willing to work with me and charge, you know, a fair price. <laughs> and so when, um, I was working with him on two other songs, I had already had better with you in mind for him to, to produce for me, but I hadn't given it to him yet. And then he dropped me a note and he said, Daya, you know, I have this music. I think it's, it sounds like you. And when I listened to it, it the way God works, it worked exactly with the lyrics I had for and the and the words for for better with you and the melody. Everything was a perfect fit. He didn't have to change anything, and he had I had never worked with him on the song at all. So God just kind of orchestrated that so that it could be the beautiful masterpiece that I think it is. Um, and the song really came from the inspiration of me just riding down the road listening to another artist's song. And they were talking about how being with their, their spouse or their loved one make them feel like a holiday. And I was like, God, you know, that's awesome. But being with you is so much better than that. And that's where the song came from. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, this is Better With You by Miss Daya Loren. Actually, um, we just have I'm So Free. Um, oh, okay. Did you, did you send that one? Let's yeah. You can send I it to me. I send it to you. Awesome. All right. Here yeah, we go. Let's do, let's do I'm So Free, and then we'll go ahead and go into Better With You. So you guys already know about Better With You. When we come back from I'm So Free, we'll talk about I'm So Free. You're listening to Dear Song, Worldwide Podcast. If you never did a thing for me, I hope I still love you the same, but you did one big thing for me. And for that, my love. Show me the mysteries of your grace that I can live sin free like it. All because you took my place. You died, you rose, give me the victory. Now I'm so free. You died, you rose, give me the victory. Now I'm so free. You died, you rose, give me the victory. Now I'm so free. You died. You So I can live I may never truly understand it 
Give me the victory. I'm so free. <laughs> Tell us about that. I absolutely love that song. Tell me about that song. So um, that gives me, like, songs. Sometimes, well, he used to give me songs just, like, straight out. Like, I get the whole song at one time. But that song, he gave me just a little piece of it one day while I was at work. And it was just a, the first a piece of the first verse. And I was like, eh, you know, it's okay. And I, and I wasn't even going to ever use it (laughs) because I didn't think it was all of that. And, um, and then one day I was waking up and God kind of gave me the rest of the song and, and kind of dropped in my spirit that it was going to be a go-go beat. And I was like, Oh, wait a minute now, guys. (laughs) Like this song is actually fire. I love this. And, uh, the song is, you know, just talking about the, the fact that there's again, freedom in the grace of God. We don't have to live by legalism. We don't have to live by the works of the law, you know, whatever, but but we can walk in the freedom and the victory that comes through Jesus. Amen. I enjoy that song though. When I'm driving, I I think, like you said, the go-go beat, um, is a little something different. I don't know. And I can't say that I have yet. I've heard a lot of different instrumentals or tracks to, um, songs, but to put that in a, um, somewhat of a gospel medley, um, and I love the video to it as well. Uh, it's just fun. The whole song is fun, and um, it goes, you know, takes kind of takes you back in the day to to that mm-hmm. that eighties vibe. Yeah, that eighties vibe, and so nineties vibe maybe. Um, but it's really um, amazing to be able to come up and have fun with your craft. Um, I think a lot of people miss that too, knowing that. Um, Traditionally, we hear what gospel, quote unquote, is supposed to sound like. And to mm-hmm. know, like, today's artist, we can go outside the box of what that sounds like. So how fun is that for you or how challenging is it for you to know, like, okay, I want to be that outside of the box artist. Um, do you feel like it'll be received or um, how well has the music been received since you are going outside the box in this album? Um, that's why I said it was kind of when you asked me about who is Dale Loren, I, it was a loaded question because, um, and it's not just this album. This album just is a culmination of all the things that God has taught me so far about who I am and about what he wants me to do. 
And um, when I first started, like around, like I said, around 2009, I didn't know who I was. I didn't even want to do this. This wasn't even my choice um, to be a gospel artist or, or, you know, whatever. I sang for most of my life, but what I really wanted to do as far as what happened um, was just wanted to see how my music as a songwriter sounded. I started out actually writing poems. And then I transitioned while I was in college to writing songs. And so by the time I got out of college, I was like, uh, and had kids and stuff, I was just like, I think I write really good songs. I want to know, you know, I want to know what they sound like together, you know, put together. Mm-hmm. What does it sound like mm-hmm. with the music? And I started the process. And well, before I started the process, God was like, you don't know who you are. You don't know what, mm-hmm. you, what you're supposed to be doing. And I was like, no, I don't know who I am. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, I was like, well, who am I, guys? <laughs> you know? And so he was like, you'll see. You know, you don't know who you are. You're more than this. You're more than this. And so I started the process of just trying to, like, okay, I'm going to make a demo. I'm going to um, see what my songs sound like. And I was going to have other people sing the songs. And God was like, nope, I want you to sing the song. Because, I mean, I'm not one of those singers, you know, that you have that runs all over the place and everybody, you know, jumping up and doing back backflips in church because they started singing. And yes. so, yeah, and definitely. So I was, and so I was like, you know what? Oh, God. And he was like, nope, I want you to sing it. And then as I started doing the, the demo or whatever, he was like, and I want you to make this a full album. And I'm like, uh, okay, God, I don't know where this money's coming from. but okay. <laughs> And then as I'm doing the album, he's like, and you're a gospel artist. And I'm like, I am. (laughs) (laughs) And even though he said all that, and I I decided to go down the road that he he set for me, it was a struggle a lot to be different. Mm -hmm. Because Mm -hmm. I've always been different. It's not, like I said, it's not even just this album. Um, It's it's just who I am. When I make music, the songs don't all sound the same. I like everything from jazz to rock to, you know, reggae, whatever. And so that all those influences come out in my, in my music and, and the heart that along with those things, the heart that I have for God, hopefully is conveyed as well. And, but when I would go places to sing, you know, I would see other people who were better received because in the traditional church, this kind of music is not really, you know, accepted. And I would be wanting to be like them. Like I mentioned at the con- at my release concert, like, oh, I wish I could sing like Shay. Oh, I wish I could sing like, oh, I wish I could rap, you know, <laughs> all this other stuff like that. Yeah. And mm-hmm. during that, over that process, God just really started helping me to love who I am and embrace who I am. And so, like I said, for this album, it's, I'm still not 100% there. But this album is a culmination of all of those lessons that God has taught me about who I am, um, about what my music should sound like, about standing up for what the vision is that God gave me for my music. Because, you know, working with um, different producers sometimes, they have, you know, influence, and, and I would just be like, okay, instead of being like, nope, that's not what God gave me. You know, mm-hmm. so, um, but when I stuck to my guns about what I felt that God was leading me to do, I think I have the best album I've ever done. Right. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's amazing though, because what most people, um, like you said, I love that you do go from, you know, one track, there's different moods within the track. We're going to go to, um, better with you. But when I listen to better with you, um, I, I actually kind of, uh, my, my, my mind went somewhere else with it in a good place. It just went somewhere else with it. And I was just smiling the whole way through, really. I was smiling the whole way through listening to this song. And this is one of those universal songs. You know, you you can be singing it in church. You can be singing it at a wedding. You can be coming down to it at a wedding. You could be, I mean, I just, I just saw so much with this song. Um, but I could see a smile, even though it was behind. I'm, I'm, of course, behind the radio. I'm listening to it on the CD. But I can just see the smile and to know that um, there, there's nothing better than just that alone time with God. And so we're going to go ahead and play the song because I want people to hear uh, what I hear when I'm driving, what, what, what your heart was for this. And then we're just going to go back into um, the, the background of this song. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and listen to Better With You. Oh, was that the wrong song? 
Yeah, that's um, that's grace and mercy. I just sent you two. The first one that I sent you is better with you. <laughs> okay, I might have to go back to that one then, because <laughs> because when I went to oh, download, go ahead, play, go ahead and play grace and mercy, and then we'll get, we'll end off with better with you. Good idea, Shay. Well, I think the devil does not want us to listen to better with you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna find it. All right, here we go. Grace and mercy. Yes, I told y'all that was one of my favorite of the three. I love the whole album, but of course, you know, on every album, there's some that you you go into um, and just love. I mean, those are the ones And maybe I just, you know, I have my worship days and my worship mornings, but when I'm driving down the road, thank you for your grace and mercy and just listening to it the way that thing ends. Ooh, Daya. 
<laughs> Daya, Daya, Daya. I'm sure you had a lot of fun. Um, I'm sure you had a lot of fun doing this. We did find better with you. And because of the time, I'm just going to go ahead right into better with you. And then we're going to talk to the listening audience and viewers about better with you. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. My name is Davis and I'm from Haiti. But I live in Dominican Republic. I'm here, Positive Power 21. Jerry was live worldwide.
Now you can see why I love better, better, better with you. Better, better with you. <laughs> better, better. <laughs> yeah, I, I love it. It's like, um, you know, it's the perfect way to end the show. I love that God just does things the way that, that he wants to do it. I know that we have plans, but um, the way that I end every show is by um, each um, person leaving the listening audience and the viewers with something to be inspired by. And I think listening to that song definitely should inspire people um, to understand that it's just so much better, um, so, so much better just being with God and just understanding his love and his grace and his mercy um, over us. And so I'm going to ask you, as you uh, talk about the song, just what inspired you again to, to um you talk to us about it, but just a little bit on how that song inspires you, one, to just be better, but what you want the listening audience and viewers to know just about how much better it is just to be one with God. As I was saying before, when I mentioned that God was teaching me who I am, this song is kind of like a reflection of my ministry and what I realized as God showed me. My ministry, the reason why I don't sound like everybody else, the reason why I don't necessarily fit in to typical gospel music is because my ministry is not just to the church but to the world. And it's to draw both the church and the world into intimacy with God. And so that's what Better, that Better With You is about, to let people know that a real, personal, intimate relationship with our Father, with our friend, is possible. And not only is it possible, it's something that God wants for us to have. Amen. Amen. And, I, and Jerry, if we can, we're going to go out. I would love for you to play that song again. Daya, where can, I, where can the listeners and the viewers find you if they wanted to book? Well, I have a website. It's dayaloren.com, D-A-Y-A-L-O-R-I-N.com. And um, I'm also on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. So if you just look for me, um, and you should be able to find me. I'm, my music's also available um, all over the, the world, really, uh, on the Internet anyway, um, on iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, and all the other, uh, Napster, all the other websites. And that's what I was going to say, too, because you have these fabulous CD covers, Day of Loren, Word of His Grace, and if you are in the Atlanta area, how can they get CDs from you? Well, they can find me at church. <laughs> <laughs> we still sell them out of the back of our car. <laughs> well, we really do. People I, still approach us at church, and they're like, hey, you got a CD. I'm like, here you go. <laughs> are the CDs on your website? I saw you had shirts, too, um, at the CD, I mean, at the album release party. Do you still have shirts for sale, or are they on your website as well? Yep. Um, the merchandise can be purchased on my website. The physical CDs are not yet available available on my website, but they can mm-hmm. download the MP3 album, yeah. um, okay. and it will be available for me. All right. Well, Daya, it was definitely a blessing to spend, we said 45 minutes, but look how time flies. So you were like, whoo, 45 minutes? Like, how am I going to get through I this? Know. But time flies when you're having fun. Didn't I tell you in the beginning? Yes. <laughs> it doesn't even sound like it doesn't even it doesn't even take 45 minutes but I do have one more question I'm going to ask you can you feel the power and you're going to say to me I feel the power so Daya Loren can you feel the power I feel the power <laughs> <laughs> positive power 21.org Woo. can you feel the power can you feel the power? Feel the power. A double X. Positive Power 21. Internet Radio. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. All right, family. Thank you so much for joining us. Please share the file on Facebook Live. We want to thank all our listeners overseas. Wow. Thank you, y'all, for joining us completely share the file we feel the love don't forget y'all tuesday night we got the triple podcast for tuesday night that's right tuesday night gotta come out and join us y'all starting at nine o'clock with pastor paul dr paul kelly with pastor's time international podcast want to learn a little something about the bible come on out y'all he got special guests too so come on out and join us then we got 
inspirational treasure for two hours. And then following her is Clarita Hatton with Blue Flame Moments. And don't come back again on Thursday because Batman is off on Wednesday nights. That's right, y'all. We got we to gotta edit our TV shows. We behind. But anyway, thank you for hanging out with us so much and sharing the file. We'll be back, y'all, Tuesday night starting at 9 o'clock with Dr. Paul Kelly. And don't forget, y'all, we got over 5,000 episodes on demand, right on Spreaker Radio, or going out to iTunes, iHeart, or Spotify. Find all our podcasts. They, they're here to share, y'all, the testimonies of God's children. Amen. All right, I'm Batman Charm City. I'm out. Have a good night. Tell them, robot. Hey, hey, hey. My name is Davis, and I'm from Haiti, but I'm living in Dominican Republic. I'm here, positive power 21. Jerry was live worldwide. Hey, y'all. It's Tanya Dallas Lewis. It's your girl, Summer. And it's your girl, Alacha. And we hope you can feel the power. Right here on, on Positive, Positive Power, power 21. 21. Woo, woo.
from the sins of this world and he, he made me a true worshiper and I, I'm so happy in Jesus alone the reality, the reality is, is I'm truly I'm, his. Truly I'm in the zone are you feeling worried just To join to the subconference, press number of subconference from 1 to 9.